school children across the UK have been training their brains for the World Education Games in March. More than 5 million young people from over 200 countries will be competing in maths, spelling and science challenges in the hope of being crowned education champions of the world. The idea behind World Education Games is literally in, in uniting kids around the world in learning. Okay, so it started off as World Maths Day in 2007 and it's grown now into World Education Games which is World Maths Day, World Spelling Day and World Science Day. Alright, it's a free event for kids and it's generally about getting as many kids around the world just enjoying learning. But how good are our youngsters? We decided to set them a challenge. Would they be good enough to beat the grown-ups? OK, so we've come out onto the street to challenge a few members of the public. Brought Sharan with me here with his maths brain. Uh, we've got a nice willing member of the public here. Are you ready for this, guys? Not with I'm going to brain. I'm going to give you a, a maths challenge to do. OK, you ready? 14 minus 6 times 3 plus 6. 30. Oh well my done. God! That's what I was going to say. <laughs> 30, I just correct. thought I'd let him go first. Very you know. fast. Well done, Sharan. <laughs> Never mind. Better luck next time. <laughs> At 12 times 4 plus 52. Um, 100. Yes! Yes! We got there in the end. Well done, Kate. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Never mind, you tried. <laughs> 8 times 9 plus 14. Uh, 86. He's quick. So he's quick, quick and he's right. Well done, Ross. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Maths question. 14 times 2 divided by 4. 7. Oh, so far, so far. Oh, I had thinking? absolutely no idea. I hadn't even worked out 14 <laughs> times 2. <laughs> They're good. They're wow. good, these kids. Okay, so you guys are pretty good. Sharan, we've decided to uh, up the stakes a little bit. We've brought in Scott here, who's known as the human calculator. Do you think you can take him on? Not sure. So give it a go. Yeah. Right, first sum coming up. You All ready, right. guys? 42 times 4 minus 40. 128. Oh, he's, he's fast. He's fast. Right, another that one. That was a lucky guess. Oh, let's get <laughs> another go. Right, Sharan, ready? 27 divided by 3 times 5. 45. 45. Oh, good guy. Good there guy. Go. Good one going. More. Come go on. One more. Come on. Right, so this is a decider. It must be youth. He's fast because he's youthful. <laughs> 24 times 2 minus 14. 34. 34. Ah, it's we're a draw. square, all it's right? A draw. Fair enough. Great job. <laughs> Great guys, brain. Good job. The World Education Games are so much fun. First off, the students are competing against other students from around the world for a 24 hour period. One day for science, one day for math, one day for spelling. And at the end of those three days, we know who some of the top students in the world are. And my job as the ambassador of the World Education Games is to go visit those winning schools, to celebrate those students, to get them on television so that they get recognized in their communities just as much as athletes get recognized in their community. Hopefully, when we make it cool to be good at maths, we can change the attitude of the students around the world and it will be no big deal where everybody can do basic maths in their head. The World Education Games are happening in March, so if you're a teacher or a parent and you think you know someone who's got what it takes to compete internationally, just visit the website at worldeducationgames.com.